Okay, our tip of the week this week is going to be how to import objects into ARCHICAD. So ARCHICAD comes with a very large collection of standard objects. And most of these objects are very parametric and we can adjust them to the needs um, of our project. And for the most part, they are, they're gonna get the job done, okay? But there are times when we are gonna wanna show something that is very unique and specific to that project or something that maybe just the default libraries don't have for us. And it may be something more complex than what you know how or want to spend the time to custom build. So the great thing is, is there are people out there that have created endless amounts of objects that we can download into ARCHICAD. So the first website is bimcomponents.com. This is ARCHICAD GDL format objects from users and from Graphisoft. So these are created in a GDL format that ARCHICAD can read. Okay, this comes from the Graphisoft website. Um, and you can go through there and find a, a huge list of um, other objects that you can bring in. Um, a lot of these objects you're also going to see in your ARCHICAD library when you're searching for something. Let's say you type in a chair. The first list, the items at the top of the list that you're going to get are things that are already in ARCHICAD. But sometimes you'll notice as you're going through the list of different objects that are available, you'll see an object. Um, this chair right here is one that jumps out to me. Um, you'll see this is a chair option, but it'll have a globe symbol next to it meaning that is a downloadable object. Um, so a lot of these BIM components objects, you will be able to find when you're in ARCHICAD, you just have to download them um, and then they'll become available to you from your embedded library. There is also the 3D Warehouse by Trimble. These are SketchUp formats um, that we can bring in. Users have created a lot of these, um, as well as there are some manufacturers objects that are available within here as well. So that's the 3D warehouse. Mod Modlar.com um, has objects that are in many different formats, ARCHICAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Um, so there's a great list of free 3D model elements there as well. BIMobjects.com is another one. Multiple formats um, available to us that we can download from there as well. So now that we know, oh, and I also want to mention a lot of times you can go to a manufacturer's website. So let's say there's a specific water faucet um, that you're wanting to put into your model. You can go to that. There are times where you can go to that manufacturer's uh, website and they might have a downloadable BIM version or a CAD version of that model that you can put into um, ARCHICAD to use for that. Okay, so now how do we bring those in? So a Revit RFA import or an RVT hotlink can integrate into ARCHICAD. So to do that, we're going to go to File, Libraries and object, Objects, and Import an RFA as a GDL object, okay? And then we're going to search through wherever we downloaded and saved that object. Um, oh, I feel like I skipped too far ahead. Anyways, so with model port, we can bring in almost any format of an object that is available. And the great thing about Modelport, it's an add-on to ARCHICAD, and it allows us to um, customize and control objects as they're coming into ARCHICAD. So a lot of times when we're bringing these objects in, we have zero control over the size of the object, um, the surface materials that are on there. We could do a, a 
overall surface override, but that changes all of the surfaces within or of the object. So model port um, gives us an expanded list of import formats. Um, it allows us to edit the imported models. It gives us a chance to preview, preview the models before, um, uh, before we bring it in. It allows us to clean up a lot of things. So it's a great tool if you're bringing in custom objects um, quite a bit because it allows us to clean those up, which is going to allow our model to run smoother. Um, we can change specific surfaces. We can change geometry. We can clean up polygons to make it run smoother. Um, we can change materials on specific surfaces. We can select things just by their materials. And we can also control our polygon count. So something like this tree is going to come in and it, it's going to have a very large amount of polygons. Okay, so we can reduce the polygon count, which is going to help our model run smoother because it has less calculations that it's going to have to do. Um, we can define what a simplified detail level looks like by clicking the simplified button. Um, select the mesh in the item list, such as if we're talking about the leaves, we can go to those properties um, and reduce the polygon count for those. And then change the decimation steps up or down to control how much reduction is happening in those polygons.